Alright, incoming awesome priest deck, I can only uh, assume. I like Mind Eater, I think the card's cool. This deck's already better than the Rogue. Uh, Void Shard. Uh, this one I guess kind of works with that. I don't really like that card. Huh? Uh, this makes me want to barf. I'm taking a copycat. I think Stormwind's better, but this could be fun, right? Oh my god, I love- Why are these always together? I need them both in my deck, but what are you gonna do? Uh, this card's really good, still. I have one death rattle so far. I'm a shadow deck. Am I all shadow? Dude, give me the uh, shadow legendary. It's kind of cool. That's a good death rattle, huh? Shadow, word death. What about a youthful brewmaster? Anything I really care about? Not really, no. Right, shadow deck. Still getting on, oh, man. Alright, well, no biscuit. Double amulet? Okay, fuck that card. I haven't seen a statue yet. Somebody's played a few against me. They haven't felt all that problematic, but... Yeah. Wow, De wait, what death rattles? This deck is quite fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to not going 0-3 against Death Knights. Now that Death Knight's a little worse, I think I'll still take the Loot Hoarder. Drawing cards is kind of cool. Resurrect a friendly undead that died this game. How this isn't an undead, I couldn't tell you. That looks like an undead. It's wearing a hood. Got some cheap undeads. I've got a bad undead. I'm sure I'll get some good undead cards. There's one. I don't want that. Yeah, let's run that. Uh, another Nova or an Armorer? Eh, let's take another Nova. Why not? Oh, yeah, we got one back. Neat. I mean, I like this card, but I like the amulet better. Yeah, more of those. Uh, Spirit Lash or Shambler? I kind of wish we had taken the 4 mana 4 4 rush now, but. Can you do? This card's really good. This card's fun. Wow, you get to discover something. Uh, I think Song Stealers may be better, but we're a Death Rattle deck. Potion of Madness, Shadow Essence, actually pretty good Shadow Essence deck too, but let's take a Potion. Alright, I'll take Cleric. <laughs> uh, garbage here. And finally, uh, I guess I'll take a Dragonfire. I think Dragonfire is a little overrated, but I'll take it. It should probably cost 5 these days. Spooky Chemist being undead was weird. Is it because he's bald? <laughs> he's dead? Yeah. You might as well be dead if you're bald. <laughs> yeah. Neato. <laughs> Rip me, I, you know? Being bald, what can you do, you know? Maybe it's too late, but... I'll just keep my mouth shut. I'll keep my big mouth shut. When will the bearded class come out? Hopefully soon. Being bald means you are dead. <laughs> True. It was a bad idea. I was just gonna count death rattles. We're probably gonna have like six before the bet, 10, 20 before the bet's even done now. But that's okay, wins are good. I didn't even do a bet for the, uh... <laughs> I didn't even do a bet for the, for the first run. I was like, oh, no, no mods here, I'm not doing it. I sort of thought of that, no, it's okay. Because sometimes like, you know, I don't want to count. So unless chat's gonna like help me count, then... Wow, that's a rough hand. Unless, like, chat's gonna help me count, then it can be kind of like, eh, I don't wanna do it. Wins are always good, though. It appeases, uh, Twitch chat. Do you notice the nerfs and the buffs? I do notice them, yeah. They're mostly non-existent, but I see them. I see that non-existence. Chat really likes the art for this card. It's cool. Bone Collar is bald and looks more undead than chemist. But is it just human? What's Bone Collar? I'm gonna play this. This is a pretty nifty power infusion target. Chemist has no guts. Uh, do I have him in my deck? I had him in the last deck, huh? Darn it. Bone Collar is a 4 drop in my deck. <laughs> Alright, so what did you say? He's bald and he looks more undead than the chemist, does he? Because he has like some... holding on some bones. 
But who hasn't held a bone or two in their life? No, you can't be doing that. I don't know what I'm doing. I could take that and just throw it away, but I like this deck. I don't really care. I mean, I prefer if this deck does better, but I don't really care if this deck goes three and three. I would much rather live in a, an arena environment where you could get decks like this, which have like some cohesive design to them. I'm gonna try to win, don't get me wrong. That is, that is a, that is an attack, I suppose. Bring the pain. And I don't really feel as though I need to know by here. Welcome to the your head. This guy, I don't give a crap. I mean, you could have three, I mean, a lot of my warrior decks kind of end up with a ton of weapons. Um, so I think that it's possible that he's holding like two weapons and you're just like, fuck it, I can't win if I'm just trading minions. Um, we have not seen a ton of weapons, you know, in addition to whatever he was doing, but... Good bump at Nova. Oh, I have another Nova. Um, I want to play this one. Winning is overrated. Uh, if you're a professional arena player, you have to win. Even when it's not plausible for you to win. Um, otherwise, nobody will watch you. So, I do have to be uh, conscientious of that. Something follows. Something follows. Okay, well, I just ripped this. It's fine. That's a lot of stats. Oh yeah! It's just kind of like we're wasting this. Right? Your favorite meta of the year? Mine was the Dredge Fiesta. I think I probably liked Sunken City the most. It's hard to remember everything. But there were a lot of aspects of Taverns of Time that I enjoyed. But I'd say Sunken City. Because I think Sunken City was mostly like standard-ish sets. Mostly more uh, recent sets. And I do think that, that is a, uh, a critical component for improving the experience. I think we could win or do things better, but I'm going to try to get the Mega Amulet going. The Colossal Minions were really fun. Yeah, now I, I, I think the issue with the Colossal cards was the Discover mechanic. So Mage had Gorilla Bot and it could just discover it's Colossal or like who knows what else I forget, but like the Gorilla Bots are all over the place and the mechs are all over the place. So if you were a class that had a mech colossal, then you saw them all the time. That was kind of dumb. The mage 3-4, it adds th three random mechs to your hand. Once you dredge it up, would half the time give you a colossal. Uh, Top D, thank you for the prime. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Red Santa. These aren't death rattles, in case he plays a death wing. Perfect. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Now we need him to death wing. 45 months, that's a pretty long time. Hey, I got you, friend. Don't give your thoughts to yourself. Burn away the blood. We're going to play this a little differently, and we're going to try to get a bigger amulet if possible. The thing is, we could win. But that just means we're going to be playing against a Death Knight even faster. We're going to be drafting a crappier deck even sooner. 
and we're gonna be a lot more miserable much more quickly. I want a full board of death rattles. The crystal shall decide your fate. You are the shadow puppet. You wish to live forever. F misery. <laughs> I hate misery. It's hard being an average arena player right now with every person playing Death Knight. Even the Death Knights, like, the issue is like... What the fuck is that? Like, even if you get Death Knight now, you're not even... Get, like, our Death Knight just went two, and it was horrible, and it just lost to better Death Knights, you know what I mean? Um, what does this card do? Cast a fire spell to revive it. Wow, that might be the worst legendary printed in, like, the last three years. Drafting is fun? Drafting's not even fun this meta, I don't feel. That's the real issue. The issue is, is, whoa, I'm gonna get, I'm, oh, don't burn my amulet, please. Okay, that one's fine. Wait, he's burning my whole deck. <laughs> no, I'm keeping one card. Fuck you, dude. You face my wrath. Fuck you. All my fucking amulets. <laughs> I have never been more upset at Game of Hearthstone in my life. This fucking guy. Oh my god. In life, the are not safe. Fuck that guy, we will hurt him. But yeah, drafting's not fun this meta, I feel. You can infinitely trade it. Oh yeah, this one I can, huh? That's true. Can you? No, that's not true. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. Oh. Actually, I I kind of lose if he just like brawls me. <laughs> Hello guys, how do you get gold in Hearthstone? Seven years ago it used to be just doing quests. Uh, you do your quests now, but you have to just collect it from... There's a battle pass system, like a reward track. You just collect it there. So quests give you experience, and experience gives you gold. You actually get more gold from playing Hearthstone now than you used to. Acolyte is alive since turn three. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, we're in fatigue. <laughs> Please hurt him badly. Yeah, I did. That was a good game. That was a better game than, you know, winning. Get so much more gold, I never run out anymore. I'm gonna run out playing this meta. I'd be really sad if you lost that one. I would never lose that one. I'm not dreads. I will light the way. He had a fun turn. Yeah, that's true, he did. He did. And he was probably like, well, I don't want to concede, even though this guy's, you know, got me beat every which way. He got me covered. He's like, well, I'm gonna just queue into a death knight and, and I'm gonna lose. Shut up, man. Shut up. What pistol? What pistol? This Who are you talking to? I'm gonna draw a Potion of Madness this turn. I'd be really scared of Potion of Madness if I was in it that activated. Yeah, shut up, idiot. One mana, two, three, with no downside piece of crap. <laughs> he has a downside. He's a one, two. I had the whole, I had the top deck of Shadow Spell, and I was gonna tempo it out to take the trade. All right, Jack. Played all three servers. You should be fine. Yeah, but I like getting all. You're right. But I like getting all my cards on one uh, server. But you're you're right. I could uh, just switch servers then. I could also not retire decks and get like 40 gold for a 40 minute four and three run or three and three run or whatever too. I just don't want to. I can save a thousand gold to keep retiring arena decks. I don't want to play. Yeah, yeah. Blizzard's uh, they're making a fortune off of us chumps, off of us idiots. Really want to trade it, but what are you gonna do? 
Man, I absolutely love this card though. I, I just, I don't know, man, it's so fun. Because I wanna trade it now because the earlier I trade it, the earlier I can draw it, right? But the later I trade it, the thinner my deck gets and the more chance I have to draw it. It's perfect. Card is kind of broken. I feel like the design, it's too powerful. In Arena, it's not. But for Constructed, like, you could spend three mana and get, like, you know, eight Moargs or whatever, th seven Moargs. But in Arena, you have to build your whole deck around it. You have to give up continuous mana to upgrade it, and then you have to have had a relevant Death Rattles die. It's a really cool card, I think. Just want to say that. Look at Red with his three drop, give three health collection over here. That's me. Those words is, is true. Those are those words is what I did. Um. Oh my god, I want this. I'm just taking that. Oh yeah, that'll probably draw us more spells than uh, the Acolyte. Now, what I don't want is to draw the Dragon Pyre Potion, but... I have a death. I'm about to pick up a death, huh? Smart, smart move, Redbeard. You're so wise, Redbeard. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The Mind Eater sounds very different from what I thought it would. Yeah, right? It does not. <laughs> I'm very confused. Why there's like a wolf with a wig? <laughs> Is this like a wolf in sheep's clothing? What, what's going on here? I, I, am, I am confused and concerned a bit about that one. You just got you, Sarah? Yeah, maybe. I'll beat you, Sarah, with all my death rattles. Fuck! Drawing cards? Drawing cards or slapping nards? I feel like this guy's slapping my nards. Benny V is still alive? How are you, Mr. Benny V? Trip has, has ended. I'm really sorry to tell you that. Oh, yeah! I love this card, too. Wish you saw this card more often. You know what card I liked is that 2 mana 1 2 that discovers a um. Mm. It discovers a mech and makes it cost less. That card was cool. Understated. Get a little bit of tempo back in the future. It was uh, Sneed's Goliath or whatever, man. Sneed's old shredder was the problem. Isn't he just dead if he swings here? I feel like he is. Mind Eater is an undead worgen. How come she's wearing a wig? Traveling Merchant Value, your favorite card? I don't like it that much, like in terms of like a fun card, but it has one of the absolute highest played win rates in pretty much every meta it's in. And oftentimes it's a three mana, three, four that can just become, I mean, the card has no downside because it has tradable. Hey, Warlock went above 50%. If you look at Death Knight's played win rate cards, cards played win rate, you have Marigar, Ysera, Astalor, Invincible, Goliath, Malignant Horror, right? Okay. You kind of... Alright, of course, the most broken legendaries ever printed. Kel'Thuzad, Battlemancer, Battlemaster. So, like, I, I would say even Battlemaster, it's like, yeah, you're playing it when you're winning. It's kind of bloodlusty. I'd probably even discount that. Necrotic Mortician, so... Discover Marogar or the Scourge. Lorthramar, that doubling stats thing. Nerubian Vizier, and then, then is uh, Traveling Merchant. That is like the 10th highest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's the 12th highest, but I'd argue it's, it's better than Battlemaster. Played win rate card for Death Knight. Above Bone Mare, above the Scourge. Above Blightfang, Pandar, and Importer. Above Cornelius Rome and Patchwork and Acolyte of Death. It is, it is just broken. And that's, for the most part, true in uh, non, non-tokeny classes, too. Like, like, if I draw it right now, it's just four or five. Still no sounds. The sounds are coming. They really are. I was stressing about it today. I was like, oh. And once I start stressing, that's when I start executing. It's coming. I know you think no, but the real answer is yes. 
I'm really excited. Which sounds do you want, by the way? <laughs> which, uh, which sounds would you like to put in? Don't you dare take mana. Oh my god, he took cards. I didn't think he would take cards. Give me a Frostlet's Jaina. I haven't played one Knights of the Frozen Throne, uh, the coin. He's already used this coin. I haven't played one Knights of the Frozen Throne hero card. Ooh, magic sword. I'm not gonna redeem any. I just want to make the duel what you promised. No, I'm going to do it. Marble s Griffey, can you make Marble Snap sounds for us? What does that mean? Like with his mouth? God, uh, the thought of Refuge Geek's mouth in motion. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a new follower. Desert Fox. Happy holidays, Mr. Red. I love the stream. Thanks, Super Hot. Oh, that can't be good. Probably Living Toots. Yeah, that's not that bad. Uh, that's not that bad, actually. Snowbird looks pretty nice. Darn it. Darn it. Uh, I'm having the Brother Man Bill stuck in my head for two days, Red, and I don't even know what it's about. It's about Brother Man Bill. Brother Man Bill. Brother Man Bill. He at the top of the hill. Brother Man Bill. Brother Man Bill. It's a good song, I'm telling you, I enjoy it unironically. I really do. I know it's a meme song. The game is trying to tell me I've peaked in Battlegrounds. Plus 99 for first place. Well, you can go higher, can you? Why couldn't you go higher? Higher, Red, higher. I have 6, 10, 14. The streets are not safe. What client do you use to show the card on the deck? Uh, Hearthstone Deck Tracker, HDT. Thank you for encouraging words. 6500 is calling my name. You can get there. Why not? I got 8th place yesterday, and I think I got 8th place again, and I hate uh, Battlegrounds. Once you drop the merchant, they can't do anything. I have to reach further beyond red, you do. Hold on, I have to fart. Oh my god, the beautiful thing about starting half an hour late is it's all it's already 1 a.m. Top eights make me feel the same. <laughs> yeah, I could see I could see smashing a computer. Or smashing a keyboard if uh <laughs> over battlegrounds if I was younger. You play any ranked? Uh I made it to legend last last month. Was it last month? I think it was, right? Maybe the month before? No, it was last month. Late for work? I didn't even... I just laid down. I, I do remember like closing my eyes and then having like that brief moment like, Oh, I don't remember closing my eyes. I better get up. And then next second later, I was waking up and I was confused. Like, oh, I made a big mistake here. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, welcome. Like I'm in the German sex dungeon all over again. Loot hoarder, huh? It's funny, like you, you queue up against a death knight and you just kind of have this sense of foreboding like you've already lost But all he's done is played a river croc and gone first and I just feel like I won't be able to come back Which very well may be the case Why German? It just reminds me of my time in Germany and the German when I visited a lot of German sex dungeons They played I think this song is the prelude to despair his boss is gonna have a word, he's on his way out. Oh, please. Please. Speaking of which, everybody go check out the latest YouTube video that we put up, okay? It's a big hitter. Redboot versus EU. Or there actually might be another one after that. I fought the European server and I did well or I did poorly? We don't know. Germans are very perverse in a good way. I think everybody is kind of perverse, or some people are. Something follows. Is someone in here? 
I have no idea what I'm doing here, but it feels like I'm doing things. Red had a traveling sex dungeon act and he turred most of Germany. I turred uh, Hamburg and uh, the other German city. I toured Munich, Hamburg, Frankfurt, Berlin, Dusseldorf. Don't forget my stay in Dusseldorf. And how could we forget my time in my ancestors are useful. Gelsenkirchen, the beautiful town of Gelsenkirchen. Dude, I'm about to take a vacation at Gelsenkirchen. That looks incredible. Actually, it kind of looks like there's a lot of smog. Why is there so much smog here? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, I want to see pictures of Gelsenkirchen. This looks very industrial. Dude, what the fuck? There's a lot of smog. There's a lot of smoke coming out of here. <laughs> Doesn't seem like we're at... Every time I've typed uh, the name of a city into Google and then looked at pictures, it always looks like the nicest city ever. Gelsenkirchen looks like... I don't know, man. Doesn't look that cool. Your German heritage shines through in your pronunciation. <laughs> Dusseldorf cannot be a real place. <laughs> oh, God. Let's say Red's foreskin is more like an eight skin at this point. Very long. Very stretched out and very wrinkly. Yes, so true. It's built on the Ruhr Valley. It's built on smoke. <laughs> wow, that sounds beautiful. I always wanted a castle in the sky, like on a cloud, but I guess... You know, a shack in a in a smog-filled water basin is is close. In life, man. It's love coal, yes, and I'd say overall cities aren't as beautiful. It seems it has many fans here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to diss if this is your hometown. I'm just telling you the pictures that Google image dictated did not. Normally, I just look whatever I look at. I'm like, oh yeah, I'd love to go there, wherever it is in the world, even shit towns in America. I'm like, well, I didn't make it look good in this picture. You should visit Dortmund if you ever go back. I've actually never been to Germany. That was a lie. I've never been to a German sex sex dungeon. I tried. Uh, they turned me away at the door, and uh, I took a peek in through the window, and they were right to do so. They were, uh, they were absolutely right to do so. Mind if I Welcome to the okay, what's this other town I need to look up? Dortmund. If I see somebody's butthole, you're in big trouble, okay? If this is like a new trend on the internet. Dortmund is a, is a person. Oh, it's a soccer team. Okay, it's apparently a very popular soccer team that is more popular than the city itself. Oh, uh, that looks nice. Nice buildings. This picture looks like ass, and then every other one looks like castles on, on a waterfront. But I'd go. I'd like to visit. I should probably do that, huh? Alright, chat. Can I have several million dollars, and I'll take a few years off, and I'll go travel the world? I'll even visit some of you guys that donated upwards of $185,000. I'll make it out of- I'll take the time out of my busy schedule. Redbeard lied. <laughs> Come to Cologne, is that how you pronounce that? We can have a beer! And is everybody here not from Germany? <laughs> Everyone here is from Germany, Cologne. City. Um, Undead. Can't even kill anything. Falconate this card. <laughs> Falconate it! I'm gonna draw cards at some point. At time? It's not now, but later. Alright, let's look at pictures of Cologne. Oh, that looks nice too. Why is everything a castle in Germany? What is this wall made out of? A wall of mouse traps? That bridge looks cool. Looks like a sea serpent. Looks like a tremor. Team Liquid visits once per year for their CSGO tournament. Dude, I should just go. I wonder if they'd let me. Wanna visit the ugly city? Go at Lud Ludwigshaven. <laughs> Ludwig's Haven? Yeah, I hear that place is a real dump. You can tag along, that'd be nice. Do you know Kurum? No. Is that a city or, or a Harry Potter Quidditch player? Answer true. I'll know if you're lying. 
It's not Germany, but in South Africa. What is Kurum? Kurum? He's a team liquid player. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, of course. Yes, they definitely keep me abreast on uh, all those things. Kurum, team liquid. I, I met, I met the fabulous Jonas at uh, TwitchCon. <laughs> I told my story. It's quite a tale of, uh... huh? Oh, I have to discard one. Oh, I don't want to discard any of these. Um, I, I, you know, I'd rather not. I can't cast that, but I'm not casting this this turn either. All right, I don't know. I mean, I hate everything that's happening in this game right now. All right, this is going away. I'm gonna draw it next turn. The very next turn. I met the fabulous Jonas. I don't think that's really his name, but... <laughs> he plays TFT. I don't know him. I'm sad to say I don't know him. You're still not on their roster on their website. I guess they want to keep it tasteful. I'm not? Is Slissa? <laughs> is Victor? Is, are any of the Hearthstone guys? Because they asked me for feedback on stuff once, and it was like... It was something like that. I was like, oh, I went to the website, and I, like, I didn't see anything for Hearthstone or something like that. And they're like, oh yeah, you know what, actually, like, all the Hearthstone players told us that. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, go figure. <laughs> Maybe one day Hearth will be big enough to be listed. That day is probably long since passed. Rightfully so. <laughs> Rightfully so. Players on Hearthstone. Wait, that's everybody. I think you know what actually happened. Uh, Victor doesn't have a picture. Um, I think what happened, they asked me to fly out to LA, um, but it was like during COVID and stuff like that. And they're like, uh, maybe not, like we'll see. Or like, do you want to like, they actually asked me like shortly after I moved here too. They're like, oh, okay, you want to come out now? And I'm like, uh, I just f drove 15 hours from California. <laughs> yeah. That's probably why. So I won't ra raise a stink. I am impressed. I like this well played because it's very sarcastic. 1100 people, you really fell backward in something here, Redbeard. Well, we got raided by Asmo Die, so shout out to that guy. Without Asmo and Crip and uh, Summit and Save, we got raided by Save File today. Uh, Dreads, Team America. Got a lot of these people. I'd probably be dead. So, shout out to them. Should I send them <laughs> an AI picture to update? I'm trying to emulate the computer, but I can't. It's more real than me. Redbeard Elderly Ricketts. Is Frozen still stream? I haven't seen Frozen stream in a long time. Um, you know what I can do is I can I can keep this to play a, a one two on. Uh, also remember, it was turn two. We had the coin, he played a 2-3, and I said I kind of felt like I was already like I'd already lost. Remember that? That was that game. The crystal shall decide your fate. Yeah. Yeah. Like we play, but we're not really playing, you know. Uh Paul Urban, thanks for the follow. Isn't that a world famous country singer? Paul Urban? I think so. Gotta love Paul Urban. Love that song. You are on the website under the content creator tab, all the way on the right, and not the Hearthstone tab. Well, I'm creating uh, Keith Urban. No, his, uh, isn't that his uncle? And he's, uh, and he's, um, just came out after 20 years of obscurity. Paul Urban, Keith Urban's uncle. He had that smash hit. I, uh, I left my bag of barbecue on my, uh, on my, uh, on my uh, wife's uh, porch, uh, porch swing. Uh, Bino, thanks for the follow, Bino. Thanks so much, man. Without a picture. Oh, I'm <laughs> keeping it tasteful. That's funny. I didn't announce that arc yet. It's gonna go viral next year. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow, man. Good joke. Only death night and high winds, yeah. Once you get up to uh, three wins, you're about as high as you're gonna get with a non-death night deck, huh? Liquid red beard name unknown, age unknown, country USA. I left the USA three years ago. I've been living in Vietnam. 
My god, I've been living in Thailand. We need another Jax quest stream. That, that'll put us on the map. <laughs> god damn. You know when I type like like everybody's name in a, in a um, Google, like it'll be like, you type like Dexter, you'll get some, some Dexter results. You type Redbeard Man, you don't get Jax shit. They don't dip, give you diddly squid out here. It's nothing. Nothing out here. Why aren't you guys making more, uh, like, articles about Redbeard? Who is Redbeard? What is Redbeard? Why is Redbeard? What's the pick rate of Lich King in Arena? He's in, like, 2% of decks, so... Probably very high, but offered very low. Or do you mean Death Knight? Uh, the, the, the pick of, uh, the Death Knight class is, I don't know, probably, a high, like, 100% when he gets offered? Am I in Redbeard jail again on Christmas Eve? No, what are you talking about? Your message didn't send. That's your first message you sent today. Yeah, I'm happy you're here. Why were you so drawn to Growlithe if he wasn't a starter? Um, you know, Growlithe wasn't really my favorite uh, as a kid growing up. Do you have an audience oh, I love that. He really wasn't my favorite, but once I started recollecting and kind of replaying through the games, um, I almost always take a water starter because I want somebody to know Surf, and I don't want to have to run like a shitty like Poliwaggle. Oh my god, is he not dead? Oh, thank god. Um, but I like him because he's like, he's just a regular dog. Uh, and I ran him once as like a semi-adult, and I liked him a lot more because I got him to Arcanine and he was just tearing people apart. And I like to have like one water, one fire, uh, you know, like one grass. I'll, I usually run like Haunter. If I, I like running, I like Haunter. Uh, um, but yeah, I don't really like, Char I mean, I like Charmander, but I don't really like Charizard that much. If you didn't pick Charmander, I believe Growlithe would be your first fire encounter. Uh, not in blue. You don't even, I don't, don't you not even get Growlithe? Or, or am I making that up? I think one of them has Volpix. Or maybe Volpix was in red. I think you either get Volpix or Growlithe. And I had blue as a kid. Uh, Densky. Thank you for the follow, Densky. Red was Growlithe. Yeah, so I had blue. And then I got fire red, and I got growl. I got an early growl, and then I, I try to keep the ones I get early and just level them up, especially if like they have an evolution or if they're like a type, and especially especially if they're a type that I don't uh, like. I don't want to run like three fires, but I could. But I like to run like one of each type. So I don't know. When I was a kid, I don't even really remember like what I did, but. Fire was broken in Gen 1, was it? See, I, I didn't, I mean, like, the games, I, I I probably did the rare candy trick and all my Pokemon were level 100 when I was a kid. And then, as an adult, the games are so easy, like, you almost never die, right? Like, you're just always kind of, kind of cruising through the game. <laughs> hey, welcome, Densky. Thanks for the Prime, man. The sub was for beating you so bad on my Malignant Horror. Well, that might be worth more than one sub. Fire is quite disadvantaged in Gen 1, since the entire region runs water types. Yeah, so I didn't. I don't like taking the fire in uh, in blue or fire red, because you have to fight Brock, and then you have to fight Misty, and it's like, you have to run, I don't know, like Pidgey or something? I don't, I don't know what you run. But then you have to level up your Charmander to like level 30 to beat Onyx and to beat Starmie. Starmie. And then the next like four gyms you just have like a level 40 charizard or charmeleon you just one shot everything so i kind of don't like that either mm. you gotta get a mankey for brock well you can't get a mankey before you fight brock you can get a pikachu before misty i think did you have to grind viridian forest right at least you couldn't in blue where do you get your first mankey you should try Ironmon. Uh, it'd probably be okay. Double trade? Double trade the shitter? Uh, that's so annoying. Can they steal three? Minky is by the Elite Four Road. Well, Brock is in the fucking first uh, gym, isn't he? <laughs> I can't go to the Elite Four Road until I beat seven uh, other gyms, right? Or eight? 
Did you ever tried Pokemon RPG? What is that? Hazel Bark. What's up, Kripali? I, I got. Whoa, my God. You got that? Don't tell me you got that. Good gracious. I want that. And Fire Red Charmander learns Metal Craw Claw. At what level? Okay, this doesn't show. Oh wait, that's Ruby and Seth. Oh, on 13. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, maybe it's time for a fire red speed run. Hey, thanks, Jet Prawn. Thanks for 100 bits, man. Guide my head. There's a city before Brock's gym. Before you go through the forest, and you get a manky. Okay, well, I, I didn't. I I haven't played that many of them. To be fair. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. And I appreciate this for my next playthrough. I'm gonna be. Uh... No time. Another happy guilty. Sealed. I gotta play at least. Okay. Uh, thanks, Nervous, for tomorrow. Don't be nervous. Alpin, thanks for the follow. And Dainsky and Jet Prawn, thanks guys for the Prime and the 100 bits. Uh, time to go face, I think. Darn it. We've got Traveling Dumbass. Nervous for tomorrow? It's Christmas! It is Christmas tomorrow, but Merry Christmas, Jetpron. What's there to be nervous about? Maybe he was bad and he, uh, he got a lump of coal. Have I been playing Genshin? Yeah, I played today a little bit. I got, I did, uh, oh god, I forgot to go back. I, I always forget to go back. But I, I got my, uh, my talent books. Some, ta some talent books. I need more. I need more talent. But I got some talents up for Benny. That was nice. I did my daily quests, and that's about it. Yeah. You spend Christmas with family? No, I'm gonna be spending Christmas with you guys. But I think I'll try to go back to LA soon. Maybe in February. Maybe I'll move back soon. I don't know what I'm doing. Every time I start thinking about it, I just get stressed, and I have to like sit motionless and stare at the wall, you know. My dying breath is for this city. My dying breasts. So I don't really care. Ooh, is that good? Uh, none of those are dragons. Okay, change of plans. I was totally down for just playing this and then setting this up, but why risk it, right? Uh, Lamarin. Thank you, Lamarin, for the follow. Where are we now? Oregon. Just loots. Thanks for the 26 months as well, man. That's a long time. I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you, my fair weathered friend? You know what? I probably should have played this one. Why did I play that? It's better on our mana, I guess. Don't worry, Red Arrow got you. I got Arrow today. I, I opened Arrow today. And I bought death from the shop. Still don't feel like I can uh, build a functional pool three deck though. Does get kind of hard. Pool three I think is very big. I think he has like something tricky or something. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't give him two of those. What about you, Kibbles and Bits? Where are you at? You live in America or somewhere else? What did he just do? Oh my god. No, I didn't do it in that order. Let's trade this. More values. Any Kripali's in chat? Did you tell him that I gave his song a, a 5 out of 10? Now he owes, you said, 150 subs? My god. My god. Any tub goats in chat? I'm not gonna be here for long. Send out a wide vibe signal. You gotta be wide vibing. Stop this. 
stop this madness. Man could get banned for less. Am I in Redbeard jail? Squirrel Girl is hot! Jane, you can't say that. But I, I will say, I think I need the Squirrel Girl variant, some of them. King Fukin 5000 bit Charles, thank you so much. Charles and Kripali, give to one a Squirrel Girl DGT. Is that a real person? Squirrel Girl Degenerate. Please tell me that that's an account that currently exists on Pornhub. Wait, this is an actual streamer? Kripali, you... Kripali, I just clicked on this person's account, which means you know that they existed, and I can see what they're doing. It's your alt, Red. That ain't my alt, but I strongly implore that nobody go look at that user's account on Twitch. Unless you want to shame Kripali. Uh, thanks Refugee for that. Thanks for that. In my dreams last night, I was violently making out with a really cute woman. My god, you should definitely describe that more in vivid detail to us all here. Is someone Get sturdy, Redbeard, or die. I'm sturdy. I've been told, I'm, I'm, I'm sturdy. How are you, Mama? How are you feeling? 100%? They took the tubes out of your nose today, or no? Uh, thank you, Charles, very much, and Red Geek for the, uh, for the, for the bits of support. <laughs> Holy Pelosi McGumbo's on that squirrel. <laughs> That's a funny way to describe Pelosi McGumbo's, let me tell you that much. <laughs> That's a strange com combination of words you've said here today. Cool secret in Ocarina of Time, in my opinion, uh, getting the Begoron sword. Red, I'm facing one of your previous opponents. Can you tell me what's in their deck? Sure, which one? Probably insane shit, if I recall correctly. Bunch of insane shit. Pelosi Magumbos. <laughs> Wasabe. Okay. Uh, what kind of class, though? Taz, I have not played him in one, two, three, or five rounds. Who the hell is this? He ain't the Death Knight. This was... what the... You better pick a good song, Tub. Oh yeah, he better. Death Knight. Uh, he had a Malignant Horror. And uh... No, I beat one of the Death Knights. Why is Tub sending these songs? What's going on here? Am I supposed to be listening to it? Because I really don't want to. <laughs> is there something in this for me? Is, am I what am I winning? Am I supposed to be rating it? Oh, come on. This is like a nine. Why'd you pick a song that's already on my playlist? He payrolled me. What, what does that mean? That was his gifted sub means I have to play this? The song's incredible. The best gunship song is Tech Noir. Everybody knows that, but this is pretty good. Like an eight and a half, probably. I don't know. It's a good song, though. I like it. My fate is sealed. My fate is sealed. Mm. Maybe I give that one the health. Ten in my book because Red is a music hater anyway. I hunt for another banger tomorrow. Yeah, I like Gunship. Everything that's not Kavinsky at Night Call. We haven't listened to Night Call in a while, huh? What happened? No After Dark, Mr. Kitty lately? No Night Call? No, uh, what else was always on? Like, not on a lot, but like, like every night. I start to forget, you know? Your brain don't work so good as you get older. I'm not patrolling another one, Mr. Goat. <laughs> to you. Yes, you are. You'll be patrolling another one. You heard Kripali. Uh, you heard Tugbo. Honest question, why? Well, I guess, why not? No, activate my Yogg. That one's only when we play Yogg. Or sometimes, other times. <laughs> only those two times, though. Tenacious Super Saiyan. Not bad. Should I pop him one more? Nah, probably not. I need to get chibi variants on Snap. I got a chibi variant today. What do you, uh, what do you think about that? One of my, I, I, one of my variants was a, uh, chibi variant. And I bet you want to know which character. 
Okay, I will, I'll tell you later the next time you're here. Bye. Thank you. I'll tell you the next time I'm here which chibi variant I got. One more death can't hurt. The fuck is this thing? <laughs> Whoa. What do you see? Oh, we get the Patrick out of his deck. No, we just increased his odds of drawing a patchwork. Hey, Kripali was supposed to ask me what chibi variant I got. Ooh, the red one tastes like cherries. Uh, this is not good for me. I thought I was in a good spot. None of this seems acceptable. I fail at that, uh... Wait, why did he do that? Why did he... What? What the hell did I just witness? Why, why did he do that? Four, two, two, that's a clear. Can I? I can. I can keep my guy alive. Stop playing ads. I'm not playing ads. Twitch plays them automatically. I asked them not to, and they said no. And I said, how about instead yes? And they said no. And I said okay. And they said, if you ask again, we're gonna ban your account. And I said all right. Then I'll ask one more time. And my name is Dreads. You can find me at one two three Cherry Drop Lane. Leave bones, please. God, suck my. Based, based off how he played that, uh, into the statue, I thought he might give me something better. Six ads? Yeah, Twitch wanted to play ten. I told him no. You can't do ten. I'm gonna lose my, uh, I'm gonna lose something. I'm lose my goddamn mind. Keep doing that Twitch to us. Dreads does seem like a guy that lives on Cherry Top Lane. <laughs> I, I definitely get that vibe from him. Wow. Cam keeps dropping out. How many nose hairs can you have? Sorry, I was drinking some uh, little drinky poo as well. Drinking a little drinky poo. <laughs> How many nose hairs? Well, the thing is they grow back. Do you understand? And I mean at a very expedited uh, uh, pace. They grow back very quickly. Which ads are really killing the viewer experience? I watched Tyler. For 20 minutes I got cut to ads for the last two rounds. Yeah, you can always sub or run an ad block or get Twitch Turbo. But I agree, there's too many of them. They need to, you know, need to chill with that. But at the same time, some streams make more of a, of their, of a living off of the ads. So they have to run more, or they choose to run more, or their audience just doesn't care to, you know. But uh, I'd prefer fewer ads. The money's not much. I'd rather more people watching and less people getting ads. But that's not what Twitch wants. They want more people watching, and then they can jam even more ads down everyone's throats and give the uh, streamers a couple pennies for their trouble. Turbo's a godsend? Yeah, Turbo's a good deal, especially if you watch a lot of Twitch. If you don't watch a ton, or you just watch a ton of one or two maybe streamers, then subbing to that streamer I think is pretty cool. I sub to a few streamers my own, on my own, right? Streamers that I, I enjoy their content and I want them to be successful and others I uh, want to watch suffer. Don't mind the ads in the past is that they would spam the same one. Yeah, you gotta do different ads too, I agree. I like the no more subbing to millionaires. Now I just give my money to billionaires. Well, well what about Redbeard? What about, uh, I mean, I, I, I've got thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, it's, it's all uh, indebted. I owe it to other people, but I, I have those debts. I have incurred those debts. What's Turbo? Turbo's like, you can basically buy 
I think it's like eight or nine bucks a month, and then they won't show you any ads on anywhere on Twitch. But then you don't support an individual streamer, but they'll Twitch will give the equivalent amount of ad money from you watching them, which is like a fraction of a cent, so that's kind of cool. Like, they don't take that away from the streamers. Maybe he just has to play a curve card and he doesn't have some shitty, like, corpse card that I can't use that he wants to play right now. It's $9 a month? Yeah, that's a good deal. It's cheaper than two subs. So, I, I do like that there are options. Turbo, ad blocks, um, the option to subscribe, right? It is kind of cool that they reduced the price of subscribing based off of your region or increased it depending on where you live, but mostly reduced it. Uh, worse for the streamers, but better for the viewers. And at the end of the day, I'd rather the viewer experience be better and have more viewers. So I don't watch Twitch. That's how I save money. Well, that doesn't save you any money. If you're not spending any money on Twitch. Grev. Ribbit has thousands of embezzled dollars. Every month, Refuge Geek sends me a uh, stuffed animal full of counterfeit Pokemon cards. <laughs> They're gonna lock him up for a long time. What is this likes Hearthstone notification? Uh, that's when somebody follows, and we know that they like Hearthstone <laughs> because they chose to follow this channel. What better indicator than of liking Hearthstone than uh, hitting that follow button on Redbeard's channel. Clearly you don't like Redbeard. We're just figuring out ad blocks. They're rolling out commercial in progress screen for non-subs. I, uh, yeah, I don't run ad blocks on Twitch because I, uh, I'm not gonna bite the hand that feeds me, but it doesn't surprise me. Only real Hearth heads and Ales follow Redbeard. Uh, does Ales still follow? We could do that. YouTube money is probably just enough for one stuffed animal plus shipping. Would you prefer that? <laughs> Hey, just wait till we get more subscribers on YouTube. That last video we just put out that everybody's been kind of buzzing about, um, I think that might be, I think that might be something. I think we might be on to something. What do you think? Do you think, Refuge Geek, that people would, would be wise to go check it out right now? The, the latest Redbeard versus EU challenge. How's the arena balance now? It's poo poo. It's poo poo plus kaka. Mixed with a little chocolate pudding. Give it a firm swirl, uh, but you know, if you draft this type of priest deck, it can be fun if you're Redbeard and you take a bunch of amulets and just cycle them all day for no reason. I think we're not hitting 5k this year. I think we're going to hit 5k this year. We're only 20 subs away. We're only 20 subs away from 5k. When you finally realize Red will read anything you type in chat no matter what. Kent Brockman? Oh, <laughs> I'm a stupid moron. I, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to guess. But it's, I think this is season three, episode seven. <laughs> I think this is season three, episode seven. Uh, don't gift any subs if this was a trivia question. <laughs> oh crap, I closed the wrong one. <laughs> wow, Red, <laughs> you're so sorry. Okay, I just wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you didn't see it and I didn't want you to. What the hell? Oh, do I have a frost spell? That'd be super cool. I kind of don't want this undead in my pool. But maybe I do. I closed down the playlist, but not that. Yeah, anyway, only 20 subs until 5k. Oh my god, now I gotta click a thousand buttons. Now the volume's all turned up for no reason. God damn you, YouTube. God damn Redbeard for clicking the wrong tab. God damn it, having to start all these fucking songs. Is that the one where Jimbo blames the prank call on Jimbo? Where Bart blames the prank call on Jimbo? Yeah. My name is... Jimbo Jones and I live at whatever, the, wherever the Simpsons live, Evergreen Terrace. You just made your first mistake or your second mistake. <laughs> it's like, well, you just, I think you just told him, hey, Dark All Day was on this playlist. Okay, where were we? We had definitely heard that Magic Sword song. Oh, I think we were listening to Calm Trues. Okay, well, here we go. We're going back here. Oh, wait, this is still open. Oh, I totally lied. Okay, here. Uh, all right, um, what am I doing? Dying? I only have seven fucking mana. Pardon my language, but fuck this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Wish I had a frost spell. I was just gonna cut you a little. <laughs> but God, I can't. What does she? What does she say? When now you take your something and you dip it in the lamna. Ooh, that's good lamna. <laughs> I love that. What is the thing? Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> okay, here you go. Guide my hand. <laughs> Let me check. We're not talking about food, right? I, 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 I need a target. Sometimes it's bugged. I'm only at 14. How am I only at 14? I gotta get some sleep. Hope y'all had a great night. Hey, you too, man. Thanks for being here. We're 200 subs, not 20. Please lie more. Oh, is it 200? Oh, no. Well, everybody just go, um... Don't bother swinging, dude. Uh, just go, uh, subscribe to the YouTube. It helps us. Better than this? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but maybe. Right, so what are my death rattles? I've had the three two. Just... Never mind. I will not be merciful. Okay, we've got two losses, both to death knights. Both going first and both playing broken decks. Let me just get one more game against a non-death knight and a win, and then We'll call it even, Hearthstone. That's it. Just one more. Non-Death Knight. That Death Knight had all the answers. They all have all the answers all the time. That pathetic Death Knight didn't even play a 6-8 Malignant Horror, though. Let's face another Death Knight, baby. That seemed to be the case. I will light the way. Yay! More death knights! And we get to go second! So we have a big disadvantage. Everything we wanted. <laughs> Everything we asked for. It's all played out according to plan. Maybe. All that matters is the request for the W. Which request for who now? I really wish I had um gotten that card, but I guess maybe you wouldn't have played it. And close enough. I have undead. One thumb to get you off the I would trade those off because they get extra attack if he does. Not the spirit lash, so should be able to be semi functional with it next turn, potentially, possibly, depending on what he does. Logged in yesterday to check out the DK nerfs and it was a crushing blow. Oh yeah, no, no, they weren't nerfed. No, no, not at all. They were buffed. I don't really care about that. Oh. Oh, is that good? No. Give me a little help. So I'll hold that. I have two Novas in the deck. Could be worth a card or two. You've heard of the Dream Team? We're the wet Dream Team. Ew. Chops there. I don't care. Now I'm getting the Scourge, right? That's gonna happen. You know? Somewhat disrespectful. Second best spell. <laughs> the second best spell. Yeah. 
we got the second best spell. You heard him, chat. The second best spell. Man, that could have been so good if we got something playable. Whew. That would have been preferable. Would have been preferable. Oh my god, anti-dragons. Anti-dragon fire potion. I need more men. I need more men. I need more I need more men. I do not have a play. I do not have a play that I can make. You know what I can do? Is someone injured? This. This is what I can do. Gain a little life, deal a little damage, draw one card. My power I'm sure he'll draw one card only, right? Excellent value. Yeah, could have been worse. Something good. Could be worse. Um, I could play those two. Maybe that's the play. Or I could play this, it just gets eaten. Maybe he leaves it up, but I take 10. Yeah, I don't care about taking 10. I also don't care about this card either. It just fucking sucks, so. Should have Taunt and Death Rattle and uh, Destroy a Minion and Life Steal. Be a better card then. I'm absolutely positively pissed off. I should have one more attack. And take that to trade that to put it at two. I guess I kind of have to do that. I can take that, trade that to put that at two. And maybe I, I have two Novas in the deck. Maybe I might draw one or two. Battlemaster. We wanted Battlemaster. Who wanted Battlemaster? I just want Amulet into Amulet into Amulet. Stop growling at me, dude. Nobody got time for your stupid growls. Still no corpses for other classes? Oh, I mean, that'll probably be like six months, a year away. Who knows? It's not like seemingly something they're like actively patching as fast as humanly possible. That's too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well he cast one of these, right? Trade there, he's gonna trade there. I take two more damage, but I can actually kill that with a Nova. Uh, he got one of these from somewhere, or he had one in his deck, and he drew nothing. So maybe when this one dies, he'll draw nothing again. That could happen, right? Wish I had that. What if I play it now and I hold the double Nova? Eh. None can hide from the light. Doesn't seem particularly fruitful. Yesterday I faced another Lady Prester, but they only got some other insane dragon instead, so I guess that's okay. Why have I lost the two Lady Prester decks into an immediate top deck Alex Straws had one day? <laughs> you play Hearthstone, and as a result, you must be miserable. That is a prerequisite, as far as I understand it. I don't get why such a rare card is in all my opponent's decks. Yeah, I've been asking myself that question about Hearthstone for years. How come 92% of my opponents have Prester, but I have it in the appropriate 1.7% of all decks? That's a damn good question, ma'am. Oh, that's not fair. That's so much better than the one I got. That one which did nothing. Boner collar. Welcome to the How many opponents have you faced with Prester this meta? That one guy that versed you just after versing me? I don't know how many. Several though. Nice 25 corpses. It's about time you get some value out of them. Let's hope I get some value. What's my best, uh... Yeah, okay, I'll take that one. Um, the 3-1 that gives a shadow spell could... Could be better, depending on what you got. Finally, 
Ich, man, Refugee jinx das. Or 8, 11. I mean, at least it will kill his board. Where are my amulets, dude? I need them. I need to have been trading them every turn. He's gonna use that one card. who will use all corps to spawn 1-1 one, one, and give 2-2 two, two boost for any who cannot spawn. I hope not, Black Lanner. I hope he doesn't do that. In my opinion, that'd be really fucking annoying. If I could jinx you, you'd be in real trouble. Well, that voodoo doll you made of me and you've been poking my foot, that has been problematic. Wrong tradable. A fine purchase. Wrong tradable. Another happy guilty. Wrong card. I hate this game. Let me enjoy my RNG deck, Tasney. Let that man enjoy his RNG deck. I've been playing Prester Druid. In Arena or in Constructed? <laughs> I don't have any AoE. I have two fucking amulets, though. Come on, amulet me. Good fucking lord. Gosh darn it. Very disappointed in this game. I go against rogues and death knights on ladder. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. A lot of rogues out there. Constructed. I'm 675th legend with it. You could probably get to top 500, I would guess. A conjurer? Save me now. Actually, quite good. I'm going to trade this. Uh, I'm going to play this. What is he holding, actually, now that I think about it? Yeah, we'll see. I have to beat out the RNG that the rogues, that's the new meta, yeah. I've seen that deck. It's fun to watch. I didn't have a ton of fun playing it. Um, and I don't have a ton of fun facing it when I was playing Constructed a bit. But it is, um... What's going on here? What are you doing to me? Oh wow. What is he holding? This is delightful. Just give me my amulets. Two? I could get more than two. Darn it. Another happy guildy. I need more men. Would I lie? Okay, that was the worst draw. That was actually the worst sequencing of draws. That's okay though. Next one will be better. Like two death wings? What is he doing? Oh, the one unplayable card. I mean, we don't have too many cards, but you could just draw that. You could draw it off the first tradable. This would be cool. Just gonna trade him. It's fine. It's gonna hit you with the biggest Margar you can get. Maybe. That'd be annoying. I'll give you that. My guess is he just has a couple of removal spells. Asphyxiation or more... Um, Crawling on me. More of the like lifesteal shooter boy. Another happy guilty. Never lucky. Run as fast as you can. Isn't it three max? No. I think this is my favorite Calm Truce track. Mmm, yeah. Infinite value, we're gonna run out soon. Once your deck is empty, you can't trade it anymore, so I'm just trading it all now. Could be a Deathwing, and he's just like, fuck it, I can't win once he amulets, right? But no reason to get him less than seven at this point. Another happy guilty. Uh, you know, that's not true. We could have played that first. So. Sure. Sure. Why not? Stay out of fatigue. Unless he draws his whole deck here. I don't foresee happening. I grow short of cards. No, I don't.
That card gave my opponent a Frosh Lich Jaina. Well, it ain't giving me that. It gave me Arch Druid Idiot. But he's kind of good right here. Oh, you're Deathwing, dude. You have an audience with the king. Oh, has he been waiting to go under 15? This guy is running double spice bread baker. Oh, he doesn't die. Oh. Something followed. I am low on cards. Let's just see. I mean, I'm not gonna end this game without casting my amulets. Uh, I'm also not gonna kill that this turn, so he draws nothing. Build your own scourge. Uh, so what's what? We have a guild trader, and we should know what is in his hand, right? One of the cards. Oh yeah, we saw that. You face my rush. Okay. I must. I must admit. That was probably the most singular, the singular most fun game of the meta that we've played. We didn't need them. They knew that we had them. Two fully upgraded amulets. You gotta cast them. You know, the, the, the joy is trading them and seeing them come back to you. But I think, you know, actually casting it would have kind of been nice now that I think about it. Do you think you would have been able to count all the death rattles so far if we did that bet? Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to count them right now retroactively, but sure, you just add them up one by one, right? Yeah, it gets like 25, then you summon two, then it's just 27, that's easy. Then you just add whatever to 27. I could do that. I could add like seven, upwards of seven to 27. That was a fun game. I wish the opponent had let us play the amulets, me too. Why well, play that whole thing out and then not let us do that? I have a bad look, man. And so we begin anew, our building of our amulets. I ran out of fingers and toes to count. You can always, uh, I can find you a toe if you need. I made it to infinite on Snap. Hey, congrats, Slime Cat. I made it to infinite yesterday. I was pretty excited. I was pretty stoked, as the kids say, as the skateboarders say. We want one of these to get the uh, trigger from this, not these. I'm saving and saving for VIP and it never comes up for channel points. Oh, it's going to be there one day. Maybe a million points. The odds of both the amulets being at the bottom of your deck must be astronomical. Well, they weren't at the bottom of our deck, right? We just kept putting them back in our deck. So we got a big dick, dick weasel on our hands. Richard Weasel. Nice one, Weasel B. Pretty good. Um, I guess I'm doing this. It's funny, we could righteous defense. It's such a powerful play, but if he righteous defenses us, then we can righteous defense what he righteous defenses. But it also might be at the bottom of his deck, so who knows? That's dickish. That's a bit dickish. That wasn't a good turn. Based on the two cards you have copied, his deck is nuts. Yeah, he's a seven win paladin in this meta. I'm sure his deck is nuts. Accidents. They happen, you know? Three minions. One non minion. One uh, blessing of Quail Thos. 
Reporting for duty. I'm just gonna rip this. Sure, why not? Darn it. Can I have another potion of dragon fire? Let's try to kill it fast before he draws a righteous defense. He's only had two draws recently that could be spells. Well, it's a good spell. That one's good. Those are good draws. That is a good draw. Must give him a greeting because his deck is too nuts. Alright, I'm going to just get up and stretch my legs real quick. Go pee, and I shall be right back. What is this song? You like it or you hate it? Um, people seem to like all the French 79 tracks. I can keep playing and grind to get some cards that make me competitive again. Yeah. The game really needs a, a casual mode. To allow you to do that without feeling like you're losing because you're obligated to do that, right? Hey, a new follower. If it ain't Rod Mosler. Thanks, Rod Mosler. Thanks for the follow, man. I'm hoping we can get 100 follows today. Mm, let's say 150, maybe. Like, everybody who's watching right now that's not following, plus everybody who comes in uh, later who isn't following, they also follow. And then... 10 people subscribe to the YouTube. That would be super, I'd be super keen on that. Uh, Lotus ha Hwang. Lotus Wang. Thank you for your follow as well. French 79 is amazing. Yeah, I don't really know much about them. Like, if it's a group or a person or. I don't really know much personally, but. I don't think I've heard a French 79 song that I don't like. I've probably only heard five or six, but. You know, that's better than most artists, right? And they may have 50 songs that I might like. Uh-oh. So now he has two Scourges and one costs seven. Not, uh, not ideal. Okay. One wasn't, wasn't a Scourge. Of course, it's really good, but we can, we can answer something like that. I'm just lying in bed, fried from partying, and the song hit a little bit extra. That's a good feeling. You gotta party though. You must party. Party while you are young. The citadel stands strong. Speak your peace. I don't know if I just got a Discord call from Overexposed. I assume it's like a butt dial of some kind? A drunken Christmas butt dial? <laughs> I don't know. My fate is secret. Let's force him to make some of the trades. I'm actually gonna ditch this too. I probably should have done that already. I'm trying to find the amulets. Answer it? I'm not sure of the context. What if she's like making love with her husband or something and accidentally called, like rolled on the phone and Discord dialed and I don't know. Oh, he lives? Oh, look, he's alive. Yeah, she's alive. Of course. Is that his other discovered card? Okay. Oh, that was the generated one. Well, okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, I think I will trade this at the expense of two health. That is kind of pricey to just not take two health, but the increased odds of drawing that card, I think that's how we win, right? Like, that's the key, right? More bones to gnaw. I don't think she meant to. Finally, oh. my She's not responding. That is not active. Fresh from this is really good if I hit all minions. I have so many spells in my deck. I probably won't hit them though. Sure. I think that's actually okay. Because it thins the deck 
Uh, we didn't burn any death rattles. And I think the key is, and what I want to do for fun is just play amulet type things. We could do this and this. We could play that next turn. In life, the amulets are getting kind of juicy if uh, we ever find them. I really like this song too. Did that just... I was gonna say this card is like the only counter to this, but they always seem to have it every time I cast this card. But I've been offered this card like three times in 114 drafts somehow. It does seem to be the case. Um, that Spirit Lash ain't looking like the worst play. It's looking like the worst play now. This is kind of good. Maybe it buys me another turn. Maybe. At least he signs that instead of my statue. I'm not even sure if that would have been better. I think it might be worse for me this way. Shoot that. I'm gonna always have this available. What I could do is is just drop this and this. And maybe I, I can answer a big minion and a wide board. Could maybe chop through the taunts, maybe. If I'm not dead, of course. I had my suspicions this was a pre-nerf deck. I'm, I'm starting to think it must be a pre-nerf deck. I've been offered a single Howling Blast, uh, Army of the Dead, or Remorseless Winter since the adjustments. And that's in a lot of drafts. Um, and I, I really just don't see them very much. I would imagine this one's a pre-nerf. Notice I've played against Kill Bobby a few times. I don't know if they're just maybe just playing the same deck. Like, maybe. We get to face like the same pre-nerf Death Knight deck over and over maybe. Sniped with a pre-nerf deck? I, I don't know if they're sniping. Uh, maybe, but and, and I don't know if they like we've played against them a lot. You know, sometimes people don't finish their decks till the weekends, right? You draft it and you finish on Friday or Saturday. But I have noticed the name. It is probably a pre nerf Death Knight deck. So either way, I can kind of be annoyed. I think whether it's random or deliberate, I think it uh, impacts. Okay, well there's a stinker. But even my my pre nerf Death Knight decks that had access to the nuts still got offered some shitters, right? It's just a shitter meta. And sometimes people value cards that are shit. They're just like, oh boy, I need some late game, you know? All right, I need a Shadow Word Death. I need a better amulet than a one amulet, right? Mind Eater. All right, so let's go here, 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 here. And I'm gonna heal my face. I don't think healing here matters too much. Dang it, Bobby. Another happy guildy. One more death can't hurt. <laughs> Dang it, boy! I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> it's a fun deck. I don't want to end. I I, got, I I I I asked Hearthstone at six and two to not queue into a death knight and to not go second. We queued into a death knight. We went second and we won, and then we beat a paladin. So you know what? The game didn't give me what I wanted, but I'm satiated for now. I am satiated for now. Trade, trade. Can't trade there. Let's start by seeing what's in his deck. I can't let him draw a bunch of cards. Let's start by seeing what's in our deck. Okay. That's quite nifty. Let's see what's in his deck. Interesting. What if I... Oh wow, what if I just cast this? Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, it's gonna be fine. How is it gonna be fine? I'm not sure yet. We'll never get punished. We're going to squelch him. And then next turn we're gonna, you know, do stuff. At least Death Knight doesn't have any way of handling this board. You mean the last board or this board? Because luckily they can't handle either board. Uh, big Wally Walladarski. Thanks for the follow, Wally 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 Walladarski. 
This is great. Never punished. Always rewarded, in fact. He's gonna... Yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 Now both of them, I think, actually could be strong enough to allow us to win, potentially. Problem is if you roll it for two and you get, like, a Loot Hoarder and a Mind Eater or something like that, or a Loot Hoarder and, like, a Cultist, I don't think it'll be enough. We need him to have a bad card or two. We need to have a good draw. There's a bad card. Wait, hold on, I get a bad card, though. Dragonfire Potion, and two Amulets. Okay, Haunted Nightmare, quite horrible. Part of this was my own fault. Ever play this? No. Drawing one card could be the difference between three Death Rattles and not. They've been dropping some real stinkers, yeah, in this pre-nerf stream snipe deck we called out earlier. <laughs> Give him another stinker. I mean, I'm running out of time. To like just tank face hits and whatnot. Yeah. Now we're dropping stinkers. Hey Trash Queen, did you eat some bad uh, El Pollo Loco? I have a question. Would you favor first hex or first lightning storm? Oh hex for me for sure. Um I would take first lightning storm over second hex though, I think. Okay. Come on, dude. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, give me something beautiful. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. I can never play this card. I will never get it down. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. What absolute callous disrespect. That, that, that's, that's poo. Oh man. What a turd of a turn. Oh my god, he has, he has drawn poorly. So I can't even be uh, too upset. I mean, you gotta kill the 1-3, right? that still kill me? Six? Nine? Oh my god, I can't kill that, so I die? No, I don't die. Fucking hell, dude. Oh. I too don't want this run to end. Uh, Bear Brave. Thank you for the follow, Bear Brave. Six, seven. Zero mana, eight, eight. His cost zero, mine cost nine. Amulet. Beautiful. Okay, we just need to get Obsidian Statue. I could trade it and try to hit the 1 in 5. Nah, let's just do this. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. What else did we have? We had statue. That was it. <laughs> just those four? That's unfortunate. Those are our only four? Well, I think we got very unlucky. Uh, had that one died? But that's okay. Uh, meme priest deck win eight. I should have conceded out of honor. I, I would have been like, oh, I, I would have acknowledged how unlucky Redbeard got and been like, oh, I, you know, or my opponent, any opponent. And I would have been like, oh, yeah, you know what? The right thing to do is to concede here. 75% to not lose. Redbeard luck in action. Say something funny to soften the blow for the YouTube audience. Uh, wizza wizza? 